Hi everyone. Um, there's this challenge going around on Instagram where people are sharing their testimonies and um, I wanted to participate because it's such a good way to just share God, especially at a time where people are anxious or scared or just like going crazy stuck at home. So um, yeah, I thought I would share my testimony. Um, so when I first saw that this challenge was starting, I got really excited because I wanted to see all um, the people, all the um, videos of people sharing their testimonies and I wanted to hear all the stories and I was really excited. But in the back of my mind, I told myself that I don't have a testimony. I told myself that those were for the people who lived like messed up lives and um, went through tragedies or got into the wrong crowd or whatever and um, then had like a crazy encounter with Jesus and from that moment on their lives were drastically transformed. Um, and so I grew up in the church, so I never had like one moment where my life changed. Um, I was at church every single Sunday. I went from learning about God with the other kids in Sunday school to going to youth group on Friday nights, um, once I was old enough. Um, there's always, that's always been my life. I definitely wouldn't change anything, but since I grew up always knowing about God and believing in him, I didn't have that moment where I necessarily gave my life to God and that was the defining, transforming moment in my life. Um, so I remember when I was like in seventh grade, I went to um, this conference, like weekend conference at um, CFC, which is a church in New Bedford. Um, and we would listen to a message and then we would worship. And um, Worship was a new concept for me because, like I said, I was always in church, so I, I knew, like, what that was, and um, it was still special to me. But this conference, this specific time, I remember, I was just surrounded by a bunch of people just worshiping God and just crying out to Him, and it was the first time that I really, like, felt, like, I just felt such, like, a strong sense of belonging and just, like, joy from being surrounded by these kinds of people. Um, and I just felt like God was so present in that moment, and that was, like, the first moment that I can remember that I really, like, just got so much out of worship, and I know worship is about, worship is about worshiping God for who He is, not necessarily for a feeling that we get, but I just felt His presence, um, so strong that, that day, and I would, I knew that I would never forget that, and, um, when I was little, obviously, my faith was just believing in God, but as I got older, I um, started having my own relationship with Him, and, um, you know, just kind of, I got to know Him as, like, a personal, like, Savior and um, Father and friend and all those different things, but um, it's really different when you go from believing in God to actually relying and trusting in Him and getting comfort from Him and peace from Him. Um, so yeah, but um, I texted my friend Taya and um, I was telling her how I struggled kind of knowing what my testimony is um, and she responded saying that my testimony is that He kept me. And um, I just had never thought about it from that perspective and afterwards I honestly felt like it was so silly of me to think that I don't have a testimony of course I have a testimony and it, it was that Jesus kept me and what she meant by that was that um, I was I always had a life knowing God so that I could show other people what it's like to know God and to have God in your life and um, they could experience that transformation the um, crazy encounter, whatever, life-changing moment, because they could see, um, they could see my life and what God's done in my life, and so, um, that's pretty much why I'm making this video, is because I want, I want that for other people, um, so, my whole goal in life is to do, is to reach out to people and to bring God to people, um, I want to show people who God is. Um, I want to, people to understand that He loves you so much more than you could ever know. And um, to everyone who feels unloved or unwanted, 
um, God loves you so much, and it just hurts me that some people are living life alone and broken, and they don't know about God, and they don't know that there's this guy who, who knows you as his child, and so I really want, um, to tell people that in case maybe they've never heard that before, um, he is the God of peace, of hope, of love, of joy, of all of that, and you can find all of that in Jesus, and so I really hope that, um, someone gets something out of this. <laughs> I seriously can't imagine my life without knowing Jesus, and I wanted to make this video to explain that, um, because it's not really fair to keep him to myself, <laughs> because I, I am loving life, and I'm loving life following Jesus, and bringing people to him, so, um, I, I want that for everyone that I know. I want everyone to know God, obviously. Um, he really can transform your life if you are, um, if you are the, at the place where I was saying before, like, if you are living in brokenness and have a messy life, he can make beautiful, he can make something beautiful out of the messiest things. So it's never too late to just give your life to God. Um, I want to leave you with a verse that I like. It's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, um, verse 31. And it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Um, I want to encourage everyone to take a step of faith and reach out if you have any questions. Um, you could DM me if you want or um, if you know somebody else that you want to reach out to. But... Um, I would love to pray for you or with you um, if you need that. So really just don't be afraid to reach out. It won't, it won't be awkward. It won't be weird because that's really, that's what I want to do. And that's my whole point in making this video. If this video even makes one person a little more curious or makes one person just um, softens their heart and they want to learn about God, then I would consider this successful. So I know God can use this video for his glory, so, um, I pray that he does that, and that this touches somebody, so, thank you for listening, and that's it. <laughs>